I dropped out of college with zero dollars to my name. And within 12 months, I had over a hundred thousand in cash stacked in my bank account. Everything you've been told about college is a lie. They say if you don't go to college that you'll miss the best years of your life. You will have a hard time making friends, have a hard time building a network. You'll miss out on the parties. You'll miss out on the girls. If you don't go to school, you'll be a complete and absolute loser. Now, all of this just isn't true. You have to look at who's giving you the advice. Now, granted, most of the time it's your friends and family and hey, they do want the best for you, but you have to ask yourself, are they living the life that I wanna live? Are they the person that I want to become? Does my journey align with that person's goals? Do they have financial freedom? Do they have time freedom? Are they struggling to pay for a nice dinner? Are they struggling to pay rent? You have to be aware when someone's projecting their limiting beliefs on life onto you. We've been told our whole life what success is. Go to school, go to college, get a job, and then you just turn around and die. In this whole time, you're working for someone else's dream. And the only reason they say it's the best four years of their life is because quite honestly, the rest of their life probably sucks. And so I'm not saying I'm some billionaire genius, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, but what I am saying is I had to confront this hard decision. I had to look at who I wanted to become to really do what was best for me in my long-term vision. John D. Rockefeller quoted, I want a nation of workers, not thinkers. He has also given the most amount of money to the education system, and he is known for shaping how it currently is. If you click this video, it probably means you want something more out of life, or you clicked it just because you hate people like me. That's cool too. Either way, not everyone should drop out of college. I mean, if you're gonna be a doctor, if you're gonna be a lawyer, or if you're a frat star professional dork, or you just enjoy being stuck in the matrix. The matrix is strong. Hey, maybe you should stay in school. The 1% is willing to do what the other 99% are not. So just make the hard decision. Now I'll show you step-by-step step how I did it myself. So really the first thing you need to do is you need to set a goal. If a captain of a ship doesn't know where he's going, he's never gonna get there. Who do I wanna be in the next 10 years? What does that person look like? What type of life do they have? For me, I knew I wanted to be a business owner. I knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur, have location and time freedom. That was super important for me. I wanted to create and build my own thing. So I looked and I said, what skill sets does this person need? And trying to figure out, okay, how do I acquire these in such a way where I have the most leverage and the least risk possible? Personally, I stumbled into sales and it really helped me build the leverage to be able to start building my own business without a huge risk attached to it. If you can influence people, if you can sell, then you can always create cash. I can pick up a phone, I can dial a number and I can make money appear out of thin air. That's the beautiful thing about sales. So think of who you want to be in the next 10 years. What skill sets does that person have? Do they know how to make videos? Do they know how to code? Do they know how to draw? <laughs> draw? You might pivot from your first job. You might pivot from that first opportunity, that first skill set, and that's okay. It's just about being able to take massive action and have one step lead after the other so you can eventually become the person that you want to be. Dedicate every waking hour to learning how to do whatever you choose. My first goal was 100,000 in my bank account. Every single day I took out a sticky note and I wrote 100,000, 100K 100 by 2022, 100K by 2022. Every time I came up on a hard time, I would just look at that sticky note. This is the goal. The failures are along the way shape how fast I'm going to get there. So that helped me stay sane as I was going through this time of extreme growth. So the next thing is fear setting. So let's get one thing straight. If you fail at this, you're still at rock bottom. If you're dropping out of school, most likely it's because you're at a low point in your life. The reason I dropped out of school is because what my goals were didn't align with the day-to-day -day actions I was doing. If I went and tried to chase my dream for six months and I failed after six months, I was still gonna be broke. What's the worst case scenario with this? I knew when I dropped out of school, I was never gonna go back. If I'm going to do something, I'm gonna fully commit to it and have no plan B. Six months into my sales journey, I was pulling in almost up to $20,000 in cash into my bank account every single month. Imagine if six months from now, you could do the same. What would your life look like? Where would you be able to go if you stayed on that trajectory? The next thing is where are you gonna live? If you drop out of school, I urge you to move out of your parents' house. <laughs> they might kick you out it adds more pressure on your back. Diamonds are formed under pressure. You're gonna give up a lot easier if you have nothing on the line. What I'd recommend and what I did myself is I moved out to a college town. I went to school out in Pepperdine. I didn't wanna move out there. I actually moved to the University of Texas. A thousand square foot house off campus. I got it with two of my friends. It was $665 for each of us. My first paycheck was literally 375. On a college town, the rent's cheap, the food's cheap, everything's cheap. You're able to live a modest lifestyle and then still have a lot of fun doing it. If I were you, I would try to live off less than $2,000 per month. If you
you can learn any skill set, it'll be hard to make less than 2000 per month. And you can have just a fine lifestyle on a college campus spending less than 2K a month. I did it for two years. So the next thing is social life optimization. Make sure you don't become the kid who dropped out of school, just party, did a bunch of drugs, got caught up in that scene because that is not a good reputation to have. Now that being said, you can still have a lot of fun. During my two year Rocky cut scene, I had a great time. I highly recommend that you try to find a couple friends that are passionate, have the same journey, have the same mindset. And if you don't, don't let that be an excuse. Even if you have to move into your own studio apartment, just pick a college town, move out there. The internet exists. Like there's a lot of people out there that wanna do what you wanna do. So surround yourself with those like-minded people. Do you think it'd be reasonable to believe if you found two to three like-minded people or even lived by yourself in a college town with 50 50,000 kids your age and you're making multiple six figures that you'd be able to have a good time. Even if you're not making any money at all, 50,000 a year goes a long way on a college campus. So the next thing is how do you close your parents? Having the conversation, depending on your relationship, you can have it with both parents. But if you're able to lean and leverage one parent or someone that believes in you maybe a little bit more, have a conversation with them. Just be super real, show them the goal setting, show them the fear setting, best worst case scenario about what can happen and just let them know that you've already made the decision and you would love their support with it. I knew both my parents believed in me as an entrepreneur, but I also knew my dad can handle risk a little bit more. We had a long talk and then he was able to really sell my mom on it because if you can get one person sold on the idea then they will sell the other person if you're coming to them both at the same time depending on your relationship with them they might team up against you then it'll be super hard when you drop out of school people will hate on you people will understand and that's completely cool because if you're making this decision it's because you're willing to take massive action on the things that matter to you most and a lot of the time you can see right through the matrix and see that school probably isn't the the right path if you want to be ultra successful.